Okay, in the Cisco CCNA curriculum, one of the problems associated with uh, frame relay static mapping is the problem of um, split horizon. Now, split horizon is in effect by default on the routers with um, on the interfaces basically so that we don't have routing loops. And what is the rule of split horizon? The rule of sp split horizon is that if a router receives a routing update from another router, so let's say this router sends a RIP routing update to this router, then it cannot send that information back out of the same interface. But here's the problem in this type of scenario, right? Which is kind of, I believe, a hub and spoke scenario, is that if this router sends an update to this router, well, this router would need to send it back out the same interface, right? to get to this router, right? So how is he going to be able to to basically pass on the routing update to the other router, right? Without um, without sending it, right? Now, when we did the static mapping, we put the broadcast command in there, and it seems like that bypasses it. But normally, with the problem of split horizon, routing updates can't go out the same interface that they came in on. So um, in that situation, what can happen is um, what you could do to bypass that is you could turn off Split Horizon. So if you wanted to turn off Split Horizon, what you would do is you'd go into the router and what you would do is you would go into the interface. So I'd say interface serial 2 slash 0. All right, and you'd say no IP split horizon, right? And if you did that, you would be turning off split horizon. But if you turn off split horizon on the serial interface right here, then you could end up with routing loops on your network because split horizon is in effect to solve routing loops. So the better way or the preferred way to set up um, the preferred way to set up frame relay in this network is instead of doing static map is to do sub interfaces with the frame relay and that's what we're going to do this time right okay if we're going to set this up for sub interfaces we're going to have to come up with a different addressing scheme across these serial links right here so sub interfaces means instead of this serial interface on this router having just one interface with one IP address it's going to have two sub interfaces and so it'll have two basically virtual interfaces one that will go this way and another one that will go this way right so we can have 10.0.0.1 here and this guy can be 10.0.0.2 but on the other sub interface so that's one sub interface on the other sub interface what we could do is we could say alright if that's going to be the case then what we'll do is we'll say that um, We'll make it a slash 24, okay? So it'll be a 10.0.0 network, right? And we'll make another network for the other sub-interface. And on the other network, we'll have 10.0.1.1, all right? Slash 24. So that's two different networks, right? All right, two different networks. You have the 10.0.0 network and the 10.0.1 network now. Host one on each one, but that's two separate networks for each sub-interface, right? And so now this guy over here, he'll be 10.0.1.2 slash 24. And so he'll connect, he'll be on the same network as this guy and then now we need new addresses for over here let's move these DLCIs over so that we can get the uh, another network over here so I'll say okay well this guy will be 10.0.2.1 and this guy will be 10 dot zero dot two dot two once again slash twenty four slash twenty four right okay so the ten dot zero dot two network ten dot zero dot two network so these two sub interfaces will be connected 
these two sub interfaces will be connected and then these two sub interfaces will be connected and once again just to remind myself slash 24 right so these are the sub interface addresses that we're going to create when we re uh, do these routers right okay since these routers were configured for static mappings we're gonna have to go in and we're gonna have to undo some of our previous configurations so we'll do we'll start with let's say router 3 here this time alright and router 3 was the old address was 10.0.0.3 that was his old address right so we're gonna have to get rid of that so what I'm gonna do is open up router 3 and go to the command line interface Okay, enable, whoops, control shift 6 to get out of that, enable, conf t, right, interface configuration mode, I mean global configuration mode, interface serial 2 slash 0, that takes me into the interface, and I'm going to do a no IP address 10.0.0.3, and then 255.0.0.0 right that gets rid of our IP address alright also I'm gonna say no encapsulation frame relay so that if I get rid of the frame relay encapsulation that'll get hopefully get rid of my static mapping so if I do that alright static mapping will hopefully be gone to double check control C hit enter to go back to privileged exec do a show run for show running dash configuration and then C and you can see now interface serial 2 slash 0 has no IP address has no configuration so we're good to go and we can now reconfigure that interface and this is how you do it for sub interfaces so you say conf T to go to global configuration mode interface serial 2 slash 0 that takes me into the interface, right? And now that I'm in the interface, I'm going to not give it an IP address because I'm going to put the IP addresses on the sub interfaces, not on the interface. But what I do need to do is change the encapsulation to frame relay. So I change that to frame relay. And I'm going to do a no shutdown to make sure that it's up so now the encapsulation on the interface is frame relay and the, the interface is up and now we can go into the sub interfaces now sub interface we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna name these sub interfaces so uh, I think I'll name them after the DLCI's which in this case will be 301 and 302 right so let's see here so we'll say interface serial 2 slash 0 dot 301 right and I can't do it I'm not sure if I can do a dot 301 but I could let's see here yeah we could try it say dot 301 and then point 2 dash point okay and hit enter and looks like I'm in sub interface mode so I did serial 2 slash 0 dot 301 so now I'm in sub interface 301 right and now I can give it an IP address so IP address and I want to look to see what is the IP address we're going to use we're going to do the 10.0.1 network number 2 host 2 so 10.0.1 dot 2 okay and that'll be a 255.255.255 slash 24 subnet mask. So there's my IP address, right? Bandwidth 64. Frame relay interface dash DLCI and the DLCI number which in this case will be 301 and I'm done for that interface now I need to switch to the other interface the other sub interface so I'm gonna say interface serial 2 slash 0 dot 
302. Point, and this is important, to point. Okay, now I'm in the other subinterface. I can set the IP address, which is going to be on a different network. It's going to be on the 10.0.2.2. Okay, so 10.0.2.2 host to 10.0.2 network. All right, that's the IP address. And then I can just put in the bandwidth 64 command and then the frame relay map, uh, frame relay, da frame dash relay, interface dash DLCI. And this is going to go to DLCI 302 because it's router 3 and the 2 stands for going to router 2, right? So that's DLCI 302 going to router 2. See the DLCIs? All right. And hit enter. And now that's done. So now I've got that router done.